Hey guys, before we get into today's Keto Crate unboxing, I wanted to let you know that Perfect Keto is currently having their St. Patrick's Day sale. It's a buy two, get one free offer. You can use the link in the description box below. This would be a great time to get those new banana nut bars or to try some of their cookies. For all the options, go to perfectketo.com. Use the link below. Okay, let's get to the Keto Crate. Hey guys, welcome to the March 2021 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Stick around to the end of this video to see how you could win your very own Keto Crate, or if you don't wanna leave it to chance, you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. All right, let's get to the Keto Crate. Per usual, we have some awesome literature and there's like spring recipes and things like that it's like in celebration of saint patty's day there is a saint patty's day lime bar recipe mm, that looks great i know my husband would love it but let's get into the snacks oh my gosh first off the first thing that i see is monk pack keto nut and seed bar this is coconut almond dark chocolate you guys know i love monk pack they taste delicious they're just like delicious kind bars at this point, Quest also has a nut and seed bar like this as well, but Monk Pack is one of my favorites. Okay, it says one gram of sugar, three net carbs. The complete nutritional information, serving size, one bar. 140 calories per bar, 12 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, five fiber, nine sugar alcohol, with nine allulose. It's cool that they can now print allulose directly on the label so that you can see exactly where those carbs are coming from because before they weren't included in fiber, but they weren't really sugar. So they had to like put somewhere on here, like it's allulose, but on this label, they particularly call out allulose and then three grams of protein ingredients, almonds, allulose, coconut, pumpkin seeds, soluble tapioca fiber, etc. I mean, I love these things. These are my favorite. Oh my gosh. Speaking of another favorite, a legit favorite. So we have Keto Crisp. Look, I love these bars. These are legit. My husband's number one favorite keto treat out of all the things I've made him try. Our favorite flavor is the almond butter chocolate chip. This is just the regular almond butter, but they're all delicious. Keto Crisp by Can Do. Four net carbs. Let's look at the nutritional information. Serving size, one bar, 220 calories, 18 grams of fat, 18 total carbs, 10 fiber, four sugar alcohols. That leaves us at four net carbs and 10 grams of protein. This is already starting off to be a lovely keto crate because I know that I love the items. Next we, oh my God, there looks to be so many bars. I'm trying not to look around. There look to be so many bars. Next we have Keto Wise Chocolate Pecan Cluster Fat Bombs. I don't know if I've ever had these before. This is gonna be exciting to try. It says MCT oil, maltitol free and gluten free. Okay, those are all things I like to see there. All right, for two pieces, which I'm assuming is this whole package, we have 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, 16 total carbs, 12 fiber, and three erythritol. So that's one net carb per both of these. Okay, and then two grams of protein. So looking at the ingredients for the caramel layer, the first ingredient is prebiotic soluble fiber and the next ingredient is polydextrose and then we have vegetable oil so like the ingredients aren't my fave but you know i'll pretty much try anything once yeah i see some carrageenan in here like you know corn fiber eh, you know like do better keto wise is all i'm saying but like i at least look forward to trying these because i've never had them before all right we have iq bar banana nut so this is gonna be interesting i'm very familiar with iq bar i've had i think they're blueberry they have a caramel one they have lots of different flavors and generally i like them looking at the nutritional information 160 calories for this bar 12 grams of fat 14 total carbs six grams of fiber and then we have five grams of allulose which make it three net carbs uh, and then 12 grams of protein okay so these ingredients are a lot better we have almonds soluble tapioca fiber pea protein and then we have there is tapioca starch in the little protein crisps uh, but then we have allulose water flax seeds etc there is some banana in here i'll be interested to try this flavor to really see if it gives me that banana nut reminiscence 
Oh, we have the cookie department. Oh, mint condition. Look, it says keto, improved texture. I cannot wait uh, to try that improved texture. The only cookie department cookie I've had, I think, is the cakewalk. And while the taste is okay, it was very crumbly. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this tastes, but I am loving the double chocolate chip and like mint nature of this cookie. For one cookie, there are 240 calories, 21 grams of fat, 22 total carbs. Then we have seven fiber and 12 sugar alcohol, making it three net carbs and then six grams of protein. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this flavor. Chocolate and mint are one of my favorite combinations. And I can already tell it does feel sturdier. Like the last time I got this, it was a crumbled mess, right? So uh, I can already tell this one is at least intact. So that's a good place to start. You can't have a keto crate without having a meat stick. Okay, so we have Big Fork Craft Pork Stick Original. I mean, this is just a meat stick, 50 calories, seven grams of protein. I will say I do like that they at least have the nutritional information on the package. All right, zero carb. Okay, so that's fine. I suspect this is gonna taste just like a meat stick and my mother and husband will love it and I will not. Okay, next we have Super Seeds Gourmet Pumpkin Seeds. The flavor is somewhat spicy, so you guys know I love that. It says all new, so I'm really looking forward to trying these premium European pumpkin seeds, okay? These aren't your run-of-the-mill American pumpkin seeds. These are European, so I want to see what flavor this has. Serving size is one packet, which I really love. They call it a packet. We have 150 calories, 13 grams of fat, four total carbs, two fiber. So that's two net carbs per package. That's not bad at all. And eight grams of protein. If a nut or seed is gonna have a flavor, I'd rather it be sweet, but spicy is the next alternative. So I'm excited to try these. Hilo. Okay, next we have Hilo Life Pizza Pizza. I've had these before. I already know that I absolutely love them. This is crispy cheddar cheese and walnuts. So this is just one of those nut and cheese mixes that like, this has like a dusting of pizza spice flavoring on it. These are absolutely delicious. I haven't had them in a while though, so I'm excited to have them again. Per package, 250 calories, 21 grams of fat, six total carb, two fiber. So that's four net carbs per package, which for flavored nuts and cheese, ain't that bad, I guess. Uh, and then 10 grams of protein. I really, really like these. Oh, and then next we have Keto Indulgence Dark Chocolate Hazelnut Candies. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. You know, I think I've seen these at like the vitamin shop and they cost like five to six dollars. So this is a really good value to be getting in this month's Keto Crate surprisingly simple surprisingly indulgent i'll be the judge of that so serving per container there are four but the serving size is two squares this is just a little much for me but as long as you're recycling then that's fine okay there are per two squares per serving there are 110 calories 11 grams of fat 11 total carbs six fiber four sugar alcohol so that's one net carb per two squares uh, and then two grams of protein. The ingredients are just unsweetened chocolate, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, hazelnut butter, natural vanilla extract, stevia. And then at the very end, we have palm fruit oil, but that is actually not pretty bad. I've never tried these before, so I'm excited to see what they taste like. You guys, it's a Jimmy bar. It's a Jimmy protein bar. This one says macadamia nut, so Lord only knows what flavor is actually inside of this. You guys, my beef with Jimmy protein bars is that the flavor listed on the outside never actually matches what's on the inside. Like we've had both a blueberry one and a strawberry one that just say blueberry and strawberry, but there are like chocolate chips in them. Like, and nothing about chocolate was mentioned on the outside. So Lord knows what the inside of this is gonna look like. Okay, the Jimmy Bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, 11 fiber, so that's four net carbs, and nine grams of protein. I just really wanna like Jimmy Bars. Like, I want to like bars in general, but these are giving me a hard time, so I'm looking forward. I've never had this flavor, so I'm hoping that I like it, and we will see on Smash the Crate. Mmm, next, do you know what I was just thinking? I have not had some Bunker Hill cheese in a long time. That ends today. We have Bunker Hill 
pizza flavored cheese crisps. I love these. I love a good cheese crisp. Cello wisps are very similar, but they're like thin, whereas these are some hearty, substantial cheese crisps. Now, I'll be looking forward to see if they really have that brick oven pizza flavor, but just the crunch and taste of cheese is good enough for me. <laughs> There's a per serving and a per container, so there are two servings in this container, but that's what I would eat, so I'm gonna read those. 360 calories for this whole container, two grams of carb, two grams of fiber, so y'all telling me this is zero net carbs? I want to know houseway with the seasonings alone. You know what I'm saying? And then 20 grams of protein. Like the ingredients are pasteurized milk, salt, microbial coagulant. What microbial coagulant? Cheese cultures, whey, tomato powder, natural flavors, spices, garlic powder. I mean, something in here has some carbs. Granted, they're probably really low, but I'm not counting these as a zero net carb. But I definitely look forward to seeing what they taste like. Oh, next we have RossChocolates.ca. I love RossChocolates.ca. These are milk chocolate flavored thins ugh, with lemon coconut. Why would you do that? Oh, I'm so mad. No wonder why they're yellow because it's lemon coconut. Citrus and chocolate do not belong together. I don't care if it's raspberry. I don't care if it's orange. It just does not. Lemon, lime, no, no, no. But it's chocolate, so hopefully I get like a truly overbearing chocolatey flavor. I'll even take coconut, but like this lemon gets on my nerves. First of all, I also love how they give you per serving and per container nutritional information. I'm just gonna be reckless and read the per container. So there are 410 calories, 33 grams of fat, whoa, 38 total carbs, but 19 fiber and 13 sugar alcohol. So what does that make the entire thing? Shh, I'm doing math. So six net carbs in this whole thing. I'd do it. Uh, and then 12 grams of protein. Okay, just to let you know, there are three servings in here. So if you wanted to have their true serving size, you split it up into five pieces, which is a third of the package, but I'm eating all of them. Okay, and then finally, we have We Do Keto. <laughs> do you now? Keto Everything Crackers. Okay, never heard of this company at all. So that's exciting. I don't know who these people are, but I will definitely be wanting to try their Keto Everything Crackers. One gram of net carb per serving, I am assuming. So three total carb minus two fibers, one net carb. There are five servings per container and there are 15 grams in a serving. 80 calories, seven grams of fat, three total carb, two fiber, one net, three grams of protein. Okay, the ingredients are all organic. Almond flour, flax seeds, sesame seeds, garlic, onion, pink salt, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, rosemary, I mean, that's a clean cracker right there. Their mission. Our goal is to provide the food that keeps fit or brings you back to health. If they mean keeps you fit or brings you back to health, typo alert, I'm gonna have to talk to Aaron about that. But I've never heard of this before, so I'm really, really happy to try it. This is just one of the things I love about the Keto Crate, okay? It delivers food in my Four favorite categories. Number one, foods that I have tried and I know that I love. Number two, foods that I've actively been looking out for, haven't tried yet, but wanted to try. Category number three, foods as in like different flavors and options from brands that I'm aware of, but I just get to try a different product. And then category number four, foods and products and companies I've never ever heard of ever before. Overall, this is a great keto crate. I mean, so heavy on the bars. We got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna call this a bar. Five bars, a cookie, two package snacks. Like, this is such a great value. Comment down below, let me know which product in this keto crate you would like to try, have already tried, and you will be entered to win your very own keto crate. The winner will be announced on our Smash the Crate video. That's the monthly series where my mom and husband and myself try every item in this month's keto crate. But if you don't wanna leave it up to chance, I mean, this is great. Like, go ahead and use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first keto crate. I look forward to trying this. I can't wait to share that with you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on Smash the Crate. Bye.